Today is 31st July, year 2020. So it is exactly 136 days from the lockdown. The, the first day of our MCO started in 18 March. So it's exactly 4 months, 14 days. Here's a brief timeline of the entire MCO, which started in 18 March. So on 27 March, we have an enhanced MCO. And on 4th May, we have a conditional MCO. And on the 10th of June, up to today, we have this thing called the recovery MCO. So basically, you know, they keep extending the dates, imposing restrictions and, and rules and mandates on the businesses and individuals and private citizens on what they can do, where they can go. Basically, controlling your movements. What they have done is, they have put a lot of business out of business. Businesses cannot sustain the rental, the bills they have to pay, their commitments to their creditors, suppliers. So a few days ago, my friend Andrew actually drove around some of the business districts you know, in PJ, like uh, Damansara Uptown, Puchong, and also SS2. So he took some photos. So I'm going to share it with you guys here. I believe these are the photos he took from Damansara uptown. All these ground floor shops, they are all closed. And they have all these banners hanging outside for sale, for rent. Okay, we even have like this particular 7-Eleven. Yeah, even 7-Eleven is for rent. So, you know, if 7-Eleven is going up for rent, you you can pretty much imagine how bad the situation is. Okay, it's not every day we see a 7-Eleven chain goes out of business. Okay, and then this one is a this one I believe is Dalcom, I think a Korean Korean coffee chain. Yeah, so they have been there for like many years. So even this chain is going out of business. Right, not a good sign. Okay, I I cannot imagine how many employees they have to let go as we go on let's look at all these shops sweetest moments utama flores okay so even this one this i believe this one is a car dealer a corner corner lot car dealer they've been around here since i I've been in PJ. I've been living in PJ for many years. And here are a few photos of residential units which were converted into shop lots. So I guess the rental for these are should be quite expensive, should be quite high because the, the build-up area is huge. This shop here looks like a bakery. Even businesses that provide daily necessities even they are forced to close. This one's a steamboat restaurant. So you close down for three months. How do you expect to pay rental? And over here we have a row of shops. Almost the entire row is going up for rent. And I believe these are not like people moving out to somewhere else. Yeah, because all the banners looks like they, they were put up together. Here's another corner lot restaurant. So as we know, corner lots are usually more expensive. Cannot open up and serve customers. Even if you do like food panda and grab food and all that, that wouldn't give you enough volume to cover your fixed expenses, your bills, your utility bills, your electric bill, your water bill, your payroll. You know, what are you going to do with the stuff that you already hired? You simply can't afford to pay them. This looks like a huge chain of a lighting electrical shop. They do all these audio visual things. Yeah, so the entire row, 
I believe business must have been good for them. But what happened? What happened after the MCO? I mean, during this entire MCO. Tough luck, man. And here we have a... I believe it's a... Massage... Massage parlor. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of social... Non-distancing going on. And they probably hire... Workers from overseas. The workers can't work. They have to close down. And here we have a college. I think it's... It comprises of a few units. So... Yeah, when you have such a big investment in the real estate, I think the moment they shut you down, I guess there's no much choice. You just have to like stop stop renting it. Yeah, maybe they just resort to like online learning now. I don't know. Maybe they just switch the way they teach their students. All right, what is this? Um, Empire Wellness Center should be one of those massage places. Another one went busted. This is uh this seems like a whole whole building up for rent from the ground floor, second floor and all the way all the way up. I guess many many people who used to work here have to figure out something else. Okay, similar to the earlier photo. This one is also like the whole block going up for rent. Yeah. Can you imagine how many how many employees are being retrenched or fired? It's just crazy. Okay, that's all for the photos that my friend has taken. I just want to make a quick conclusion that the MCO has a very serious implication, very damaging to the economy. This thing is not being reconsidered. A lot of business are going to go under they will be in a lot of trouble many people are going to lose, lose their job the economy is going to tank this is not like a normal recession because in a normal recession you only get certain industries that get affected because a recession basically just they flush out the toxic and useless uh, investment in the system and all other businesses will just go on as usual but this is not this is not a normal recession it's, it basically affects everyone as you have seen from the photo earlier those are not just like uh, certain industries there are wedding wedding studios there are restaurants and you have like even convenience store all kinds of businesses are going going out of business just how many people are losing their jobs if you think back for a moment when these people rented the premise rented the outlet to do business all the plannings all the time they spent all the capital they invested all the renovation, all the sunken costs, all the sweat and sweat and tears that they have put into their business just get destroyed like that. Okay, you can say this is because of the of the virus, okay? But as we have seen from around the world, there are many ways to deal with the virus. Many ways to deal with it. MCO, this movement control order is just one of it. You don't necessarily have to shut down the economy. It's proven that the policy has damaged the economy, has caused all these businesses to shut down, all these uh, jobs to disappear. And this is possibly just the beginning, possibly just, just the tip of the iceberg. Once people have to start paying their loans, their car loans, their housing loans, and all the loans that they have with their banks after the moratorium ends, I think, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure we're going to see even more drastic damages Okay, I shall wrap this up here. Think about it. Do you really think that, you know, this kind of movement control orders are valid in controlling the pandemic crisis? Yeah, think about it.